In this example, we're trying to find the values of x and y in order to find the respective four angle measures. Okay, so we're going to find each of these angle measures here using the fact that we will find the x and y values first. So how do you find the x and y values? You may try to think of vertical angles. You might say DBC is congruent to ABE. Yes, so that means we could set 13x equal to 2 times y plus 25. But the only problem is we would have two unknowns. And you can't solve an equation with two unknowns. That's impossible. So we need to use not vertical angles, but rather adjacent angles. You might say, but what about these two? Well, again, this one has x, this one has y. So even though these two angles, ABE and EBC, are adjacent, you will be unsuccessful. However, you can use these two or these two to find your respective y or x values first. So notice these two adjacent angles, ABE, I'm sorry, ABD and ABE, have uh, listed angles in terms of x. So if you set them, now notice this, adjacent angles do not necessarily mean equal unless it's 90 degrees. Now we don't know whether these two angle measures are 90 degrees, but we do know 100% that since we're talking about straight lines here, or line segments, DB, BE, D, DE is a line segment, and AC is a line segment, right? So since, since we're talking about a straight line segment, DE, we're talking about this angle measure, the total angle measure of DBE being 180 degrees, a straight angle, right? So if it's 180 degrees, that means these two adjacent angles together make up 180 degrees. They're supplementary, right? So we know that the sum of the measures of these two angles ABE and ABD is equal to 180 degrees, okay? So if this is equal to 180 degrees, we can easily solve for x, right? We can combine like terms, which are these two. We get 17x plus 10 is equal to 180 degrees. So if you subtract 10, of course, on both sides, you should get something like 17x is equal to 170, then divide both sides by 17, you should get the value of x equals to 10. So if the value of x is equal to 10, this angle would be 13 times 10, right, the x value. So that means 130 degrees for ABE. So this is 130 degrees. Now this one would be what? 4 times 10, so that would give you 40 plus 10. So ABD, right, is 50 degrees. So we know from the vertical angles now that ABE is congruent to DVC. So we don't have to actually use the same method to solve for Ys. Okay, we can basically create a shortcut. So uh, 130 degrees applies also to DVC because these two are vertical angles. Right? So this also must be 130 degrees. And in the end, I'm going to check with you with the Y values here using the same method we used for the Xs. And you'll see that this angle measure turns out to be 130 degrees as well. So now using the same trick for this node, because we found that to be 50 degrees, this is going to be 50, right? So that means this is a vertical angle for that one, right? These two are vertical angles, okay? They share the same vertex. They're created by two intersecting lines. So this one should also be theoretically like uh, ABD, okay? So 50 degrees for that. Let's check those two results. Okay, so we know that 2y minus 30 plus twice of 1y plus 25 should be equal to 180 degrees because these two are supplementary. So now, like terms would be what? 2y minus 30 plus 2y plus 50 is equal to 180 degrees. So you know these two are like terms. So they add up to 4y, and these two are like terms. So that happens to be 20. And again, this is only a work for checking, because we already found all the answers. We're just going to check using the same method to solve directly for y and find these two angle measures. So that would be subtracting 20, of course, on both sides. So we would get 4y is equal to 160 divided by 4 y would be what? 40 degrees, right? So y is 40, so that means this angle, EBC, this is the targeted angle, twice 40, that's 80, 80 minus 30, 50, bingo. Now let's check if this one's 50 as well. 40 plus 25, that's 65. 65 
times 2, bingo, 130 degrees. All right, so you use two methods. You use two methods to solve for the second, uh, for the second set of uh, unknown angles here, using these angles that you solve for, using the traditional method of adjacent angles. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.